A little over a year ago, no one had even heard of the Grenadier. Now everyone in the off-road world is talking about it. And one thing has become very clear. As potential drivers, users, owners of this extraordinary 4x4, you are hungry for engineering and design detail. Well, no problem. Welcome back to Building the Grenadier. For this episode, we've invited some serious off-roaders to take an exclusive first look at a very special Grenadier prototype, chassis 001. All right, fellas, I want you to take a look at something. Wow, that's pretty cool. I know you want to get underneath. <laughs> Look at that, it's absolutely. I've always been a lover of what I call the iconic 4x4s, and this to me is an iconic 4x4 for sure. The size, the way it's laid out, the position of the engine, everything I've looked at so far, it's going to be a workhorse. Can't wait to get hold of one. That's nice. I love this. For a split door like this, there's a really brilliant wide opening area to load and offload really heavy kit. I can imagine putting a pallet in there with. Oil in for the machines, no problem at all. Good departure angles, actually good approach angles as well, but it's, it's quite a wide bumper, but I, I like that because you can accept winches as well. Check them out then. Check them out. <sighs> ah, splendid. I tell you what, it's going to be very hard to drag these guys away, but they can take as long as they like because the whole point of today is to hear what they think whilst the Grenadier is still a work in progress. Now, I know it doesn't look like it is from the outside, but on the inside, it's very clear that there are still a lot of engineering and design decisions to be made, although the interior itself is nearly finished and I should be able to show you it in a few weeks' time. But the wait is over when it comes to the wheels and tyres. Following a rigorous research and development program, INEOS engineers chose 17-inch steel wheels as the standard setup. But as you know, there's loads more prototype testing underway, so that choice can't be confirmed just yet. INEOS has clearly never made a tyre, never made a wheel before, so how, how did you go about developing what is a unique bespoke package for this vehicle? So we, we started the uh, selection process more than a year ago uh, with some tests on our first prototypes and after uh, the evaluation of these tests we nominated Bridgestone as a capable but also a very willing supplier. The Grenadier will come with tailor-made Bridgestone tyres as standard. Ineos believes Bridgestone is the perfect tyre partner. The company has nearly a century of experience, plus the necessary global network to support a 4x4 built for the world's most remote places. So tyre options, there will be for, for people who, who want something more aggressive, there will be an option for a BF Goodrich tyre. The standard tyre is the one that you and Bridgestone are developing, which is this. Now this is, this is a demo tyre, because yep. you walk on and go, it's a little bit small, little bit small yeah. but it demonstrates actually the tread pattern. So you're, you're saying that you've got a, a, a tyre you've already developed, it's been proven, it's been tested, Absolutely. but you're then kind of up-specking it specifically for the Grenadier. Absolutely, so we, um, we've changed the compound uh, initially so that it's got better off-road performance, particularly in the snow, and also we've changed the construction slightly to make it um, more tuned, uh, and this particularly helps with the steering in laden and um, fully laden conditions with the trailer. Lots of people, when buying cars, there's a kind of perception, isn't there, that you know standard means second best. That's not the case here, is it? Absolutely not, no. So we've worked really hard with um, the Grenadier team to make sure that what is offered to uh, the standard fitment is absolutely what is required for the vast majority of people running the Grenadier. So the package that we've put together with the wheel uh, and the tyre is suitable. It's snowflake marked, so it performs as well in the snow as it does in the mud. Um, and it is great on-road capability as well. So, so let's, ju let's just focus on the, on the rims. From a materials point of view, is the reason you've gone for steel as the standard as obvious as you might expect that it's incredibly robust and you can beat it with a hammer if you bend it? It has to be robust, you know, for a car, but also durable. Uh, and, and steel wheels would be perfect for 
uh, you know, for use in winter and also for hard, uh, hard conditions. From a sizing point of view, you've gone for 17 inch and 18 inch diameter rims. Why not 16? In terms of brakes, you know, we had to respect a specific package to perform as expected. And clearly the 16 didn't fit, uh, you know, for our brake system. So that's why we didn't go through uh, 16 inches. Wheel options will be larger 18 inch steels or unique alloys in both sizes, all fitted with the Bridgestone tyres. All right, what's been your, your kind of general feeling? It's just like ticking boxes, good engine, reliability, tick, automatic gearbox, reliability, tick, transmission, it's all there, all the axles. The way the body's built, put together, the big doors at the back, it's all there. You see it you know, on all the social media posts, the previous videos, we've, you know, you've seen all of that, we've all watched them, but actually to come here and see it and to, to measure it up against what we were expecting. It's very much a very exciting project and I can't wait to see this thing out on the road. When you're trying to make a, a vehicle like this, the ultimate off-roader that's going to be used in incredibly varied conditions, mm -hmm. In the automotive world, that's a, that's a hell of a thing to try and create a vehicle that's capable of, of doing all that. Do you get the sense this is a compromise? No. no. <laughs> no. This, is, this is the vehicle you want in, for the next 20 years. You're just trying to make your vehicle as reliable as it is because there's nothing else out there at the moment to you know, replace it. They keep utilising older and older vehicles because there's nothing there that I feel is, can replace what I've got at the moment. And then coming to have a look at this, it's looking pretty good, to be honest. It's nice that standard is on steels, though. Car manufacturers constantly are pushing alloys to you. Steel wheel's fantastic. It does what it says on the tin. That's what a lot of people are going to want out of this. Yeah. How many of you have bashed out a bent steel wheel with yeah. a big hammer? Yeah, yeah. yeah. a few times. Sitting there with a sledge, <laughs> sledgehammer and smashing it back on, putting it back straight. Oh, yeah, it's a little bit buckled. Ah, I'll be all right, blow it up, and off you go again. But it works, doesn't it? It works yeah. every and time. And it gets you home. Exactly that. It always get you home. Listen guys, I mean, a huge thank you from all of us. There'll be more chances to get involved in the future, so keep an eye out, and it could be you. That's it for now. Join me for the next episode of Building the Grenadier. <laughs>